everyone. I am in the Glenwood Springs Canyon where we were just talking with CEDA and local officials about the I-70 road closure from the 500 year rain that we saw more than one inch of rainfall in less than an hour on top of the Grizzly Creek wildfire uh, which did not help conditions and right behind me you're seeing the effects from a wildfire that caused a massive mudslide and a change of direction to the Colorado River. And as I think of the Glenwood Canyon closure, I can't help but consider the fires and the horrible smoke and the flooding and the mudslides all across the West and how they are all connected by the complete mismanagement of our forests. Now you're gonna hear me say this a lot. We have to manage our forests responsibly or mother nature is going to continue to manage them for us. And she's gonna do so with wildfires. The hippie eco-terrorists got their way. They spiked trees to kill loggers. They sued. They effectively shut down our lumber mill industry. Decades later, we are now suffering with six billion dead standing trees in the West that create a ginormous tinderbox. It catches fire time and again. The smoke fills our skies, destroys our air quality, and destroys our land. It scars the earth and creates the perfect condition for flooding. And don't think that you could just lay new seed and that will correct everything. The soil is sterile. Then we get mudslides and that costs millions to fix. And don't believe for a second any lessons have been learned from the far left. Biden just nominated an eco-terrorist to lead the Bureau of Land Management. The same eco-terrorists, Senators Hickenlooper, Bennett, and every other Democrat support. She's the peach who's involved with tree spiking. You know, the metal eight to 10 inch spikes that are still in trees that can still to this day kill loggers and our firefighters. It's all so wrong. I've introduced the most comprehensive forest management bill in decades. It's a better path forward, which is one of the many reasons I need you to help me in this fight. And it's one of the reasons that I am fighting so hard to take back the house in 2022. With your support, we can fix messes like this. Thank you all so much and God bless you.